Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Bridge. We're going to play day three of three of the April 1st, 3rd Stars and Platinum Robot Individual in just a sec, but I wanted to review um, how we did in the first couple days. Uh, in day one, we got a 51 and a bit, so just barely treading water. Ranked 370th? I don't know how many people are in it, but okay, fine. Day two... Oh, actually, it probably tells me here, right? If I hit results, yes, out of 1,191 players, we came 370th. So that includes a lot of people who just like probably didn't play at all or played one board and then conceded. Like, how do you get a 32? I don't know. It looks like they actually did just play them out. They're just bad. Okay, great. Or very unlucky, but it seems unlikely. So we got a 51. Oh, look, they even have, you can look at the, there's actually an overall. They're three separate things. So session two, I thought 57 was good, but not great. But it turns out I actually placed first among like the decent players that I know. Um, I'm sure there are many good players I don't know who are higher than me on the list or whatever. I don't have a million friends on this platform, but how are we doing in the overalls? Not bad. This this is my regular partner here. So we're we're... <laughs> I don't know. He's probably looking at my results, too. He occasionally checks out the videos. Um, so I have a little bit of catching up to do, it seems. Okay, so day three. Uh, let's, let's get going, shall we? The finals. Another 16 boards. We opened a diamond. Fine. And passed. And yeah, competing with three diamonds seems fine. All white pairs. So, <clears throat> east is a past hand, west overcalled spades, and then hearts. So we can expect five spades and four hearts, very probably. If he were 5-5, five, five, he would have showed them both at once with a different bid. And with 6-4, he probably would have doubled rather than bidding two hearts, maybe. Or bid two spades or something. Like, he could be 6-4, but it's less likely. 5-4 is by far the most common. Meanwhile, Dummy has 9 points. I have 13. That's 22. Leaves 18 for the opponents. West probably has, like, at least 15 or 16 of them. I mean, it's not clear, but... Maybe you could do this with as little as 13 in good shape. But East doesn't have much at all. <clears throat> so we can guess the heart finesse is on. As for what to do in diamonds, it's less clear. Because probably West has the king. So, like, the finesse is not so hot. I'm thinking we should win the spade in hand by playing low from dummy. And then bang down the ace of diamonds. Heart finesse, diamond up to the queen ten. So that, like, if east has jack third, we can pick that up or something. Or king jack, I don't know. It depends on what west does under the ace of diamonds, I suppose. But some, something like that. There's not really much hope of getting rid of the club loser. Losers. And we have one spade loser, which is probably not going anywhere. Because the only place it could go would be on the queen of clubs if we led up to that twice. Actually, there's a question. What's up with the ace king of clubs? If West had both, he would probably lead that suit rather than leading from a, you know, king fifth of spades. So if we place East with the ace or king of clubs, he basically has nothing else. Okay. I mean, that sort of means we're not going to set up clubs for a spade pitch because East will get in at some point and put a spade through and... Oh well. 
So I, I think that makes sense. We Oh, the 10. Interesting. Okay. So Ace of Diamonds. King? Wow! Okay, so he's actually void. West is void in diamonds. That sort of explains his exuberant bidding. Okay, well... We could have taken all the tricks by running the nine, I think, right? Finesse against the jack, then against the king, then against the eight. Using all of dummy's diamond entries, but I don't think I would be doing that. Hmm. Yeah, running the nine on the first round is crazy. Would have worked out. So I believe we play low here, right? Like, there's not much point in running the nine. It just gives him permission to put in the jack, which is not that great for me. But I guess if I play low, he puts in the eight, and that's also, like, there's no real difference there, I guess. So it looks like we're losing, then, a diamond, a spade, and two clubs. We're going to make the contract. It's nice of West not to put in the king here. That would deny me a dummy entry. Oh! Ace of clubs? Is East out of spades? No, I guess it's going to come out the same, because West can now play a spade for East to rough. Okay, fair enough. I think I was right to lay down the Ace of Diamonds, even though it didn't work out. The play you would have to make uh, to do better just seems like a bad play to me. We opened this a spade. Fine. Partner bid two clubs. I bid two spades. Partner bid three diamonds, and we just settled in 3 no. I would have preferred to emphasize the clubs if I were you, partner, rather than show diamonds at all, but fine. It's turned out all right. We're in a great contract. I mean, a normal contract. Uh, we seem to have seven club tricks, barring disaster. Like, if East has all the clubs, we're in a lot of trouble, but otherwise we're fine. Seven clubs, two hearts, and a spade. How can I take any more tricks? Well... I could play a diamond to the king, and that's about it, right? And there's not much risk in that. <sighs> because... Even if this loses to the ace, and then another diamond comes back... The worst case is that they take three diamonds, and that's still the same ten tricks I started with. Now, we could try cashing the clubs before doing that. Maybe that increases our chances of taking more diamond tricks? Like if someone bears the queen of diamonds, for example, then low the king could drop it. But we would have to find five pitches from hand. One heart... And four spades? I guess that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I can do that. I still have entries. The one ace of spades entry is all I need. Am I going to have any trouble pitching from dummy? No. Because they can't make me pitch from dummy except on the king of hearts, by which point I won't care. Yeah, so let's cash the clubs first. Put the opponents under a little pressure before we make our diamond try also we had to find out whether we're getting seven club tricks or three so west has pitched a heart and a spade at this point let's just try to keep track of those things two hearts and two spades have gone four spades have gone
five spades have gone? We started with six. So the opponents started with seven. They have two spades left. Okay, I guess I'll pitch... Well, but they know I have five. I guess they don't know I have the ace. I guess we pitch a heart here before the spade then. Okay. I still don't think somebody has... I think whoever had the king and queen of the spades still has both of them. I don't think they both bared their king and queen. So rather than pitch a diamond and hope the spades are winners, I'm going to pitch a spade and hope I can lead up the king of diamonds. And there goes the queen. Okay, that worked. I don't think they pitched a lot of diamonds, so we're probably not getting more. But I wasn't really counting diamonds very carefully. And indeed, West had the king and queen of spades. And we do only get one extra diamond, but that's one extra diamond, right? So... Seems good. I don't think there was a way to do any better than that. Yeah, my current table, please. You could have tried, like, leading the Jack of Diamonds. But whether East plays the Ace or Queen, you're still only getting one. If you do that before leading clubs... Maybe there's some minor suit, sorry, major suit squeeze, but East can just hang on to enough hearts to take the pressure off of West. I think. Maybe there's some strip squeeze at the end as well, where, no, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, 660 seems great. Maybe it's possible to do better, but it's not obvious, even double dummy, how you would do it. Uh, we're in four spades after one, two, four. Okay, I guess. Interesting. We're losing... We're losing two hearts immediately, I assume. May as well play the seven here and, I don't know, pretend I don't have the three? No, they saw right through my plan. <clears throat> I don't see how roughing with the eight can hurt. It's hard to imagine how it could help, but... Well... We have eight spades, the opponents have five. So, if the ten and nine are in the same hand... Yeah, I don't think there's any... Whatever, I'll rough with the eight. Okay, great. <clears throat> so, there are two ways we might score some extra... Well, okay. We look like we have a club loser. There are two ways we could perhaps get rid of it. One would be... The, um... The clubs could be 2-2. Two, two. Uh... I mean, I suppose we could take a... There's technically some other lines we could take, but the clubs could come in for no losers, or we could try a diamond finesse, and we could do it in either direction, right? Low to the queen or ace then queen. Either one is possible. Um, the clubs being 2-2... Two, two, is less than 50%. I forget the odds exactly, but... Um, you know, I think it's something like 40%. Yeah, it sounds about right. Maybe 38. Um, so we could just play ace and then king. But a diamond finesse, whichever way you take it, is 50%. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the hearts that were played. No, I remember. Most of them. <laughs> I remember trick one. It was a low heart to like 
Does East have like all the hearts? Maybe that's a reason to play West for the... I don't remember. I've already forgotten, but... Okay. So you could also take a really speculative line in clubs, which I'm not going to do, but there is a situation where you could pick up the suit even though it's not 2-2. Two, two. If East has the singleton 9, you can lead the 10 on trick 1 of the club suit. West has to cover, or else you just like drop his queen jack with the next two tricks. And once he does, you can cross back to hand to lead up towards the remaining ace-8 over his honor X. But that's just, like, awful. Don't do that. Singleton 9 is one specific holding. Any 2-2 two -two is way more likely than that. But I think I want to play for the diamond finesse against West. Um... The annoying thing is you can't test the clubs first. I suppose one thing you could do... Well, yeah, maybe there are more lines than I thought. Maybe what you have to do, actually, is... Cash the spades, or at least enough to draw trump. And then play a diamond to the ace and a diamond back. One way you win immediately is if east gets nervous and plays the king. Then you rough it, and your diamond pitches your club loser. So you've already succeeded there a little bit. You also still succeed if a minor suit squeeze develops wherein West, like you pick up some of the finesse lines anyway, because if West has the king of diamonds, but also three clubs, he'll be squeezed if you try this line. Now, even better than that, though, would... Hmm, Ideally, again, you'd like to test the clubs, and then if they don't break, you can try the finesse, or squeeze, or finesse, either way, depending on who has the last club. But you can't do that and get back to hand. You have to cast the clubs early in order for this club to be your threat, which is important. And I can't do that, because after cashing clubs, I won't have a way back to hand without blowing up the ace of diamonds, which I need. So that would be the ideal squeeze line, but it's not possible here. So I think you do... I think the squeeze is best. You win any time clubs are 2-2, because then nobody has the club card. And you also win on half of the three ones. Well, a quarter of the three ones? Whenever West is the one with long clubs, and he also has the King of Diamonds. Or when East gets nervous and puts up the King on the second diamond trick. And all of that together surely comes out to more than 50%. Yeah. Can I afford to cash... To, to play the diamonds before the spades? Would that make East more nervous? I think I could... You know, nobody's roughing the second round of diamonds, right? And I don't want to let them find out what's going on in spades before I test them in diamonds. So I guess that makes sense. Diamond to the ace. Rough back. And then we run spades. Spades are 3-3. Three, three. Not that that matters. Nope. 4-3, dummy only had... Wait, what? Oh, this is only the third round. I thought, okay, whatever. 4-2. <clears throat> I, I, I have no idea how many spades anybody had, I guess. A club was pitched. That's mm, maybe promising? I'm not sure. Now we ditch the diamond... 
and just hope that the clubs come in. And they do. Great. The clubs were 2-2 all along. And the finesse was on. So the only way you could go down on that hand would be by playing Ace of Diamonds, then running the Queen. Or by leading the Ten of Clubs like a maniac, the line I said nobody should do. Or not, you couldn't go down, but you could you could fail to make the over trick. So I think most of the field will, will make five there just as I did, but I l hope my line was better than the line much of the field took. Oh, three, two. I forgot I started with seven because I roughed so early. Okay. A heart pass pass double. That's fine. One spade would also be reasonable, but double's fine. Partner bids two hearts, showing a good hand generically. And then I, see this is the problem with doubling is now you feel like you have to bid your spades so many times. I bid, a, I bid two spades and partner said, okay, we can quit now. But I balanced again with three spades because partner said he had a good hand. And then partner raised to four because, oh, I said I had so many spades. And so here we are in a 5-2 fit, where we're going to get tapped into pieces here. Yeah, this is nasty. How likely is it that spades are 3-3? It doesn't seem very likely, does it? West seems short in spades. And that means it's going to hurt to have to rough two hearts. So I think something I'll probably do at some point is pitch a diamond from hand instead of roughing. So that I can preserve the option of roughing in dummy, hopefully. And I may as well do that now, I think. No, I'll rough this one and pitch on the next. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think it comes out the same. But I don't want East to be able to uppercut me by roughing high. Well, if he roughs high, I don't care. I'm pitching, right? You know, I I I want to I want to rough here. and cross in clubs for a spade up to the king, probably losing, but you know, we can hope. And on this, I pitch a diamond so that I still have a spade and dummy to rough with. East roughs. Also noteworthy, East only had two hearts and pitched a diamond. So I had one, dummy had three, two, so West had seven hearts. Overruffing here is still bad. I'm just going to pitch a club. If this gets roughed, it is kind of disappointing, though. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I think I made a mistake there. Uh, there are two spades outstanding, is that right? Yeah. Let's assume that East has both of them. Wrong. In that case, I need to play a trump coup is what I was trying to do. So, I don't know. This one's going to score pretty badly, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, spades were 3-3, three, three, huh? But clubs were 4-1. I thought West was probably short in spades. But I guess with Ace, King, Queen, Seventh of Hearts, you don't have to be that short. So I obviously could have done better. At this point, I think the rough is correct, yes? I mean, especially with spades 3-3, three, three, it must be. Yes, rough to go down two. Then do anything. Yeah. And at this point, 
East makes a mistake by roughing. No, East pitched as well. Right, of course. And I pitched, which it says is fine. Rough over rough. And indeed, over roughing is the only bad play you can make, huh? Interesting. So I was right to pitch here. And West gets his rough. But at that point, I need to draw Trump. I don't know. I think I made the right choice. Like, East is more likely to have the spade than West is. And if that's the case, I need to cross to dummy. Oh, I'm... Yeah, right. Like, let's imagine East has Jack X of spades and only one diamond. Then the problem is, if I cash the queen, I'll eventually lose to the jack. To fix that, you play a trump coup. Six to... The, uh, sorry. Uh, club to the ace... Club rough with the five, diamond to the king, and then a diamond. And at that point, East has only two cards left, the jack and the four of spades, and I have only the queen and nine. So he has to rough, and I can over rough and draw the last trump. I think it was the right line. It worked out. It would work out for the layout that I thought existed, and I think I was right to think that, but it sure did not work out on the actual layout. Um, the ten of clubs. The ten. Also auction. One spade, two hearts. Three diamonds, three no. Two hearts seems like a bit much to me. This hand is pretty bad for a game force after a one spade opening. I would have preferred one no. Hmm. Okay, fine. So... If you play the jack and it goes, like, king, you can play the ace, fine. But the eight is never going to be good for anything, right? Because the first three rounds of the suit will include the king, the queen, and the nine from the opponents. And then our spots will be worth nothing. If you play low from dummy, it's much the same thing. <laughs> the, jack and, the jack will also never be worth anything. Except maybe it'll help block the suit. Another question is, like, what major do we work on? Also, I suppose we should just duck trick one, right? I'd be thrilled for them to switch to anything. So I don't want to spend my ace early. Given that, I guess you play low from dummy in case west has, like, 10 9 fourth and east has king-queen tight. Could happen. Or maybe East has King X and gets nervous for some reason. Seems unlikely. Yeah. So I'll, I'll duck a club. Queen. Yeah. I guess with Queen 10, 9, 7, you can afford to do that. Well, but what if East has King X? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Got him. Okay, good. That's one hurdle hurdled. We conjured a second club trick out of nowhere. And I think we want to play a spade, right? I have plenty of dummy entries to the spades, and also we get to lead up to the spade. So if West has, like, ace-fourth, he'll be unwilling to play the ace. Then we, having stolen a spade, can go back to hearts, perhaps? And they'll have to let us steal one of those as well, because I have the King of Diamonds as an entry. And then we can go back to spades again. Oh, or West will just pop ace. Sure. This is getting better and better, guys. What the heck? This is great. Okay, of course the clubs are 4-2. We knew that already. I'll hang on to the 2. Just <laughs> it's, it's just as big as the 4 is, and it would be more exciting if it somehow won a trick. But it won't. So let's cash two spades, I think. 
to confirm that the suit is 4-3 and that we can win all of them. Pitching hearts. Okay, it's not the case. East has five. Okay. So that explains why West popped ace. It's not, it's still not the right play, but it's the kind of play a robot would make because he can see that if I lead up to the king and then duck, the ace will fall anyway. So he jumped on it. However, in real life, I would lead up the king and then I would have led the queen. And so he could have held me to only two spade winners instead of three by ducking. So now I think we just play a heart because at this point I have one, two, three losers, maybe only two if the diamonds come in. Um, what did East pitch on the third uh, club? I don't remember. Anyway, so maybe three losers. There's not like some cool squeeze coming. And a, and a heart sets up two tricks. Or I guess they could duck it and then I get only one. Yeah, I mean, this is just obviously right. Oh, you could play the king, I suppose. No, that makes no sense. Don't do that. All right, West won it, so he gets to cash his club. Good for you. But uh, now I have the rest. I feel as though I should have somehow come to more tricks than this, but I guess nine is a lot more than I expected when I first saw the dummy. The clubs went very well for me, and frankly, the spades did too. Even though I only got three of them, that was more than I had hoped for. Diamonds were 4-2. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I could have done any better, right? We'll see what the double dummy solver says. Tell me about my accuracy, please. Yeah. So the defenders made one mistake, and that was, I assume, well, at trick two, right? Um. Wow. Yeah. So there are only two cards in West's hand that are good enough to hold me to, to, to defeat the contract. And he found one of them. Ten, which I duck. Small. And now he has to not play the queen of diamond of clubs, which queen seems like a the wrong card. But, okay, he's a robot. He doesn't get the joke. And that was the only mistake they made. And I never could have done any better. Good to know. Uh, we're in one no trump after opening it. Great, 15 points. Yes, you obviously open one no. Partner obviously passes. Eight of hearts suggests East has the king. But either way, I wanna set up some heart tricks, right? So we just play low here. Hope East continues hearts, although he won't. Uh, yeah, you just jump on this spade, right? You don't want the opponents finding the club switch. Or even just like letting them pocket a spade and then switch to clubs. Even if clubs isn't the right suit to switch to, getting a spade and whatever clubs are giving you has to be great. And so then the question is how to tackle diamonds. Of course, we can cash three hearts and two more aces. That's six tricks. But we have to do something with diamonds. It's fine if we lose the first diamond, or if we lose a diamond trick. But we need to win uh, the rest of them, basically. Because we can't afford to lose two tricks, or there'll be an avalanche of black cards. Um, <clears throat> with... Only one entry to the north hand, huh? I believe... Uh, I have to do these, these suit combinations I don't have memorized. 
it feels right to me to lead if if we had unlimited entries to run the queen and then run the nine right but i do have limited entries so i can't even do that so i think ace of diamonds first and then lead up to dummy must be right if we don't have unlimited entries to the north end. And assuming it's all small cards, I've seen three small cards. The king and the jack are the only two left. If east has both, it doesn't matter. If they're divided, it cancels out. Like, lo the eight loses if east has stiff jack. But... The queen loses if he says stiff king. Those, like, cancel out. Stiff king remaining. So those all cancel. And if east has them all, it doesn't matter. But if west has them all, you should run the ten. So I, I guess that's the answer, is ace of diamonds, run the ten. I could cash hearts first. But... But what? I guess I just will. I was thinking, sometimes you don't want to deprive yourself of idle cards. Because when they start running their suits, you, you're going to have to find even more pitches. But here, I can just pitch a club, and it's fine. And I follow suit to all the spades. And when I run hearts, they might throw away one of their spade winners or something like that. Uh, and I still have enough entries after doing this, right? Cash all the hearts, ace of diamonds, run a diamond. And the next time I get in, it'll be with the ace of clubs. So sure, I can lead it again. I guess, though, actually... No, yeah, if West has all of them, king, jack, fourth. Ah. If West has King Jack fourth and I've cashed all the hearts, then after I play Ace of Diamonds, I can try to run the 10, but he can foil me by jumping on the king. No. Because then when I get back to hand with the club, I'll be able to lead through again. So yeah, I think it's always fine to cash these. Let's do that. What? Okay, never mind. New plan. <laughs> West found the lead of the Singleton Eight of Hearts and has pitched a diamond. Well, we certainly don't want to run all the hearts now because that would mean that East could cash some hearts or one heart. Okay, in fact... <laughs> wow. All right. I mean, I... I guess that means West is more likely to be long in diamonds, so ace and low still makes sense. The jack? They're just making everything so easy for me. Okay, we're unblocking the queen here just for fun, so I can preserve the seven as a potential winner. Although I guess it still isn't. Hmm. He had five spades! And he tried a heart lead. I guess he had, like, King Jack 10 fifth and was nervous that I might... Huh. Okay. Okay, we get our seven tricks and a beer. Win the last trick with the seven of diamonds. Having carefully pitched dummies eight, I can overtake with the ten and win the seven. Ta-da! A magic trick. This lead is fucking insane. Every human is leading the Jack of Spades here. Uh, okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm happy. I would have liked a spade lead much less. It just, like, doesn't even seem like the kind of error a robot would make to me. But obviously it is. Okay. I couldn't have done any better here, right? Obviously. Well? 
No, West was the one with the entry. So even if I had ducked the first spade and they had continued spades, when I switched to diamonds, West still could have won and cast spades. Okay. So we're in three hearts on this next one. 13, a diamond. Sure. Partner doubles a spade. Of course. I bid two hearts. Partner's three clubs is a little bit weird. But I guess it's treated as a game try because we've agreed hearts. That's not how I would play it, but okay. We make a game retry. Say, I can't accept your game try, but I'm close. And partner says, that's not good enough. And we're in three hearts. After West has bid one spade, two spade. And East has passed. Okay. Uh, nine points in dummy. I have 13 is 22. So the opponents have 18. East probably has less than eight. So West has at least 10, which I mean, his bidding also tells us. I don't know what the robots lead from like ace, king, queen. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, it looks like this is a singleton diamond and West had has the ace, king of spades. It's risky to rough a spade here to take the spade finesse, or, or the heart finesse. Like, West might have seven spades. In which case, East would be over roughing. But I guess if you over roughed, at least it would be with the king, right? I guess the really, like, hmm. you could try leading a club here to the jack, trying to cut off their communication so that they can't give each other too many roughs. Like, someone wins the ace of clubs and gives their partner a rough. Congratulations. But that's the end. No more roughs are coming because they don't have any other way. Well, I don't know. Club to the ace, diamond rough, spade roughed with the king, another diamond rough. I guess that would be the nightmare scenario. I just think, like... I don't know. The main lines seem to be rough a spade, take the heart finesse, or ace of hearts heart. And I think ace of hearts heart could go wrong as well right like if the hearts are 4-1 and east has the king plausible then they can start tapping you in spades no they can't really i don't know it's more just that like you are giving up a possible over trick by declining the spade finesse and west could easily have like king x but he could also have, like, small stiff. Or, I mean, the finesse works best if he has, like, too small. Because we have to figure out, like, we have to rough these spades. We can't pitch all of them. If hearts are 4-1. Four, four I don't know. I think I'm going to rough a spade here because it gets started on the problem of roughing spades and also might produce a trick in the heart finesse. Okay, so East is now out of spades. Which means we can't rough any more. But it also means he doesn't have a spade to play, right? That's kind of funny. So I think we can draw all the trumps. Why didn't I play the 10 here? 
It's just sloppy play. Luckily, however, hearts are 3-2. So... We can play the ace here. Oh, God, this is... No, I always make this mistake. <sighs> Shit. I mean, I'm still making three, but now the problem is... I should have not led the ace of hearts. I think. Because now I want to play jack of diamonds diamond to the ace. Presumably diamonds are 4-1. And then I, I need to rough a diamond to make the rest good. And I can force a diamond, a dummy entry in clubs. But West has the ace of clubs, so he can cash spades before I do that. Yeah. But I don't know. If I hadn't drawn the last heart... I'd be roughing a diamond with my last heart. And then... Question mark? Like... All right, I'd still have the ace. But dummy wouldn't have any. Well, no, dummy would still have one. I'd be roughing a queen. I'd have the ace. Dummy'd have a small. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I could have managed one more trick, though. If we're lucky, East has the Ace of Clubs, but I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, I don't even get another club, do I? I somehow thought I would, but... Oh, I am going down. What a bad player. Oh, my God. There was definitely a better way to play this hand. <sighs> okay, how bad is it? Uh, no, not show double dummy, export. Give me the real double dummy program. I have a Chrome extension. There's like a, you can't see my toolbar, but once I load up the, the reason I load up hand viewer and then the real double dummy is I have a Chrome extension that in the toolbar, when I load up the hand viewer, I can click on the double dummy and it opens a new tab. Accuracy. Three deviations from optimal double dummy play. Oish. Dreadful. Yeah, I should have made an over trick, it says. So, yeah, West made a mistake by not continuing spades to tap the dummy and set up a heart promotion for his partner. Trying for a finesse, or a rough. It says you have to play a club right away. I did mention that, right? Cut off their entries. I thought it was entries for, like giving West a spade rough, but I guess it's West's late entry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's my trump control. Roughing a spade now means I can't rough one later when it's really important. And I need... I was just worried, I don't know. East could have had the ace of clubs and give his partner a diamond rough, but I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world. So we rough here, we run a heart. It says that's fine. We run another, why not? But don't cast the last one. Indeed. You have to go after your other stuff now. And if I if I had played diamonds, let's say. Yeah, just just doing this would have been fine. As long as I don't then draw the last trump. I have to finally attack clubs. And then West can try to tap me, but I get to take the tap in dummy. It gets over roughed, but they only get one spade trick instead of three that way. Yeah. Okay. I'm in a three no trump contract that looks immediately doomed. Like super, super doomed? 
How did we get here? I mean, I guess West might have Ace Queen Jack, in which case the King would win. No dice. I guess East might not. East might return a club. <laughs> no dice again. So we're going to take five spades and two diamonds and then finally give up, it looks like. Okay, well, there's a blessing. I pitched a heart winner because I needed to hang on to two diamonds in dummy to prevent them from running like five diamond tricks as well or three or whatever. So it looks like I've done badly here by not winning as many hearts as I could have if the suit was for a uh, three three, but it means I don't. They they didn't find the diamond switch. Like if they had found the diamond switch, my play would have been necessary to hold it to down. Uh, down three instead of down four. I mean, I don't know. If I'd hung on to all of Dummy's hearts and pitched diamonds instead. Oh, could I have pitched clubs actually? Did I did I do enough club pitching? Here, I should have pitched a club. The heart oh no, I I Yeah, this this could have been a club pitch actually. Um, double dummy, it doesn't matter because they're supposed to switch to diamonds, but a club is like, if they find the wrong lead, a club lets me have four clubs in hand and four hearts in dummy, but that is pretty greedy. Maybe pitching a heart to kind of feign weakness in hearts sort of makes sense. I don't know. Who knows if they would have found the right lead if I had pitched a club instead. A down three was a fine result on that hand. <laughs> or down two, rather. Was a fine result. It was just you couldn't do well. Oh, this is like a claim for making seven? Right? Unless the hearts are 5-0, we have an easy 13 tricks. If they are 5-0, what am I supposed to do about that? play one round of hearts and then just run all the diamonds. They get to rough in once, but then I can finish drawing Trump. Wow, they're 5-0. Oh! Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think you could get away with cashing all the hearts. But it's just bad technique, right? Could you have to start pitching stuff from hand as you cash from dummy? I guess it doesn't matter. You have enough entries. And enough stoppers. But imagine this queen of clubs were a small club. Then it would be really important to not cash the hearts, because when they eventually rough in on diamonds, they could run a bunch of clubs. Um, since we do have the club stopper, it's fine either way, I think. Yeah, let's just, let's just run the diamonds. You can get your rough whenever you want it. I guess I could just claim down one, or making six, right? We'll play it out because it's kind of an unusual layout. Okay, they rough in. Try a club, but I win this. Pitching my spade loser. And draw the remaining trumps. And if I needed to, I presumably could have arranged a club rough in dummy as well, but obviously it wasn't necessary. Okay. Cute hand. 
Um, it's important to think about, like, before you start playing any cards, say, you know, what what are... Think about ways things could go wrong if you're in a contract that seems very safe. What what disaster could befall you, and how do you play, plan around that? And vice versa, if there's a contract with almost no hope, look for the slightest bit of hope you can and try to figure out how to take advantage of that. And that might involve a weird play at trick one, which is why you should do it before you play anything. Here, it didn't really matter, right? I, I, a 5-0 break was the only thing that was going to matter, and I was going to find out about it in plenty of time. But sometimes it'll be like, well, if there's a 5-0 break, then it's important that I never lead Trump or, or something like that. I guess that's a bad example, because then you'd never find out about the 5-0 break. But there are, like sometimes you have to make preparations early before you find out about the bad news. Um, and so think about what could what disaster could befall you and what you have to do to work around it uh, as early as possible. 5-0 like, doesn't occur to most people, but on that, most of the time, I don't think about 5-0 splits. But on that hand, it was the only layout that could be any issue at all. So devote a little thought to it. And the thought is, oh, you can kind of do whatever you want. It turns out is the right answer, but you should at least think about it. So West has five spades and a five card minor, presumably diamonds. Oh, this is... Oh, this is such a funny hand. This is like one they put in the books, right? If you win the ace of spades... and try to draw trumps, you may find the trump suit 3-1 or worse. You, in fact, likely will. Like, prob West's most likely shape is 5-1, five, 5-2. Five, and East would then probably have a third of, of, uh, of hearts. He would hold up to... Potentially the third round of hearts, win the third round, and play a spade at a time when dummy is now out of spades and can't rough anything, right? So West would win the ten of spades, and the queen of spades, and the ace of diamonds, and the east's ace of hearts. So the kind of play that you can sometimes make in positions like these is to duck trick one so that you can take a spade rough as your first winner and the ace of spades as a later winner so that you don't run into the problem of oh no dummy's out of trump and i don't have any stoppers anymore now i think on further reflection you're not supposed to do that on this hand because if east really does have ace third of hearts he can't really hold up until the third round <clears throat> because you won't lead a third round. You'll play <clears throat> um, king of hearts, queen of hearts, or, well, probably ten. King of hearts, ten of hearts, and if East ducks both of those, you stop drawing trump and switch to clubs. And you just run clubs until East roughs. And then you get b back to dummy with a spade rough and run some more clubs. So I think the, f the exciting newspaper column play of, like, ducking the first spade trick is actually wrong here. I think it might be right if we were playing at imps instead of at match points. If our prime goal were to make our contract, then we would have to think about, what if East has all four hearts? Then if we win the ace and lead two rounds, this whole idea of like lead two rounds and then after he ducks twice, switch to clubs doesn't work anymore. He'll rough in, cash the ace of hearts, and then play a spade and you'll be toast. And I believe by ducking the first spade, you would ensure your contract against that possibility. If they continue spades, you get to rough and dummy scot-free. And if they switch to clubs, then it's a little awkward, but I think you're okay. You can play the king ten of hearts. 
And if they win it at any point, yeah. If East were to win, well, you could just play three rounds of hearts, right? Well, no, because East would win the third heart and play a second round of clubs. And you'd be in dummy, and wouldn't that be lovely? But then East would rough like the fourth club, probably. And you couldn't get back to dummy after you finished drawing Trump. So I think even against 4-0, this cute line of ducking the spade doesn't work. So I, I think it is back to the kind of pedestrian line of win the ace, king ten of hearts, clubs. They're 4-0! I was thinking about this. Oh, no. This is, like... Okay. It's like the... Oh, okay, no, we're, we're, we're Gucci. It's great. East made a mistake. <laughs> okay. Whew. I think... That was definitely wrong. You should win the third round. I mean, I guess he doesn't know what's going on for sure. Um, now, what if the club break very badly? They shouldn't, because West's apparent shape is 5053. But just in case, we can rough a spade high and then finesse the nine of hearts on the way back. And then the last two clubs are pitching our two spades, so we don't need any luck at all. In fact, we could claim. The robots would let us get away with it, but I want to demonstrate it. Okay, yeah, I think, I think East made a boo-boo. I, I want to look at this one, Double Dummy, and see see if ducking the spade at trick one actually is correct on this layout. Uh, yeah, show show me show me this hand. Um, accuracy, first of all, everybody played perfectly, huh? Okay, good to know. So, spade play was fine. It says ducking would cost a trick. Okay, so what happens, though, if East ducks a couple hearts? Yeah, it says after, after finding out... After finding out about the 4-0, you have to stop drawing Trump, because you're going to get toasted if you try that. Interesting. So what are you doing instead? Roughing a spade, I guess? Yeah, I guess the kind of funny prank is after you, um, after you rough here. No, oh, no, wrong. I was thinking you could play a diamond to cut off the uh, communications. Okay. Why doesn't that work? West wins the ace and taps dummy with a spade, I guess. And now our queen ten eight aren't big enough to deal with the ace nine seven. Okay. So we win the ace of clubs and then, yeah, we just play clubs immediately. And East, ah, we get rid of our diamond loser. That's nice. Yeah, and East can rough in, but we over rough and get back to dummy or try with another spade. 
Spade Rough, I should say. East over Ruffs. But at this point, we have Heart Winners and one Spade Loser. We've lost, we, we only lose two tricks. The Ace of Hearts and the remaining Spade. Okay, interesting. Well, I should have thought more through what would happen in the 4-0 split, I guess. Hmm. Cool hand. Um, we're in one, one spade, two hearts is all we could bid on this hand, huh? I mean, I guess. It's 6-5, though. I feel like I would want a strain to do a little bit more than that. But it's sort of hard, right? You can't really bid three hearts with this. And double is terrible. Okay. And partner smelled a misfit and got out early. Fair enough. Uh, are we going to be able to set up the spades and draw trump? Obviously no, right? So it looks like a cross rough. We just want to win our three side suit tricks. And hopefully as many as seven trumps by roughing with them. Uh, order? I think I want to... Well, certainly play Ace of Spades before playing any other Spades. But... When do you cast the clubs is the question. Oh, also... Wait a minute. Dummy has six diamonds? East bid two diamonds. Okay. So maybe roughing diamonds is not the royal road to success here because West is going to be over roughing them pretty soon. So West has one or two diamonds, unclear which. Hopefully two. So, hmm. so we, we've just cashed these, I guess. Don't, don't lie to me. You don't have a singleton king. Yeah, that's what I thought, bucko. Um, we can try to get away with one more diamond rough before we switch to a club rough later. But if it gets over roughed, it's pretty unpleasant. I mean, the same is true in clubs, right? Yeah, I'm just going to try a, a diamond rough, I think. I think East with Ace, King, Queen, XX would be perfectly happy to bid. He doesn't have to have six. Well, gosh, I don't know. Ace of Clubs, Club. Ace, King of Clubs, rather. Then a club rough. We're like definitely not getting any more roughs after that. We could also try a diamond rough high, I guess. To guarantee we can get a club, or a, at least try to get a spade rough. Because they can't over rough the ace of hearts when we play a diamond. But I don't think that's very productive. I think we just sort of hope this works. In which case, I think you cash the two clubs first. Because you don't really need them for entries, right? Well, you sort of do. Let's just, let's just cross rough right away. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, it was a doubleton. Okay. So we go for the spade rough. I still don't believe East has a doubleton king. You wouldn't be comfortable playing king and then low from a doubleton here, would you? Maybe. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now we cash the clubs. And hopefully we get a... We get to sneak something by East. Ooh, we can even lead the Jack, a winner. And he sort of has to rough that. And I can pitch a spade while that happens, I guess. I'm not sure how much that accomplishes, but it seems better than the alternative. Like, it seems like I'm never getting the Seven of Hearts. 
right? I'm definitely not over roughing the queen, but the thing is, East is going to just start leading diamonds, right? And I kind of have to just pitch on all of them, or else I get over roughed by West, in which case I'm gaining nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do here to make more than nine tricks, but. I I don't even know what I could try. Let's pitch a spade. And if I rough this, like, nothing... This obviously doesn't work, so let's pitch. Next, the Ace of Diamonds, and it's still no good to rough, so I still pitch, and... And now I have to rough, and, you know, nothing has been accomplished thereby. Or also you could switch to Trump. That also works, I guess. And there's our nine tricks. Pretty good. We got our three side suit tricks and six of our seven trumps. Um, we're in three diamonds, a club, a heart, two diamonds, sure. Insisting with three diamonds at red seems a little bit much for me, but I guess you're upgrading for the club shortness and good hard honors. I guess I don't mind. Um, West has all the honors, so I mean, more of them than East does. In fact, what? I have 11, Dummy has 8, that's 19. West, the, the opponents have 21. West has around 12. East has around 8 or 9 for a heart then double. So that, yeah, that, that's, that pretty much is everything. West probably has the Ace of Clubs, or he would have led one. But not the King, or he would have led one anyway. So West probably has the Ace of Clubs. East probably has the King of Clubs. No guarantees. Because, like, a heart lead is somewhat appealing, too. Um, he probably has the Ace of Spades, West, which means the King of Spades is an entry. I mean, he probably has all kinds of things, but none of them are really guaranteed. I think I'm going to win the King and run the Eight of Diamonds. It worked. Oh, well, West has the Ace, King of Clubs. Fair enough. So we don't really have a dummy re-entry necessarily. But we've gotten a much clearer picture of what's happening, right? We know West has the Ace of Diamonds. We know West has the Ace King of Clubs because he cashed the King confidently. And that's already 11, right? If he had another ace, that would be 15, and I don't think East could really have just six. So actually, I think East has the ace of spades. So trying to cross the king of spades now to repeat the diamond finesse would not be successful. Instead, East would win the ace of spades and probably give his partner a heart rough. So... Instead, I guess we just bang down the King of Diamonds and hope it drops the Queen? Good. And in spades, I'm not sure we can do anything. Well... Hmm. Like... Like... 
I don't think we have quite enough honors to do something about the 10, do we? Well, yeah, I, gu I guess. If I can identify which honor West has, like if I find him with the queen, I can run the jack, right? Jack, queen, king, ace, and then the nine, eight, force the 10. If I think that East has the ace and queen, I can instead play low to the eight, hoping West has the 10. But I don't think that, right? I think West has the Queen of Spades and East has the Ace. So I, I run the Jack. Yeah. Rough this. Draw one more round of Trump just to be safe. You never know. There could be a, a 14th out there somewhere. And we make our contract. So this is one, I think, where like counting what points the opponents can have and trying to form a clear picture of the opposing hands was super important and rewarding, right? It wasn't just like something you should do for good technique that didn't happen to pan out. It like produced extra tricks for us. Not just saying, oh, West opened, he probably has all the points, but thinking about specifically what points he seems to have and then realizing he doesn't have much room for more. Um, I'm going to just export this one to the hand viewer link and see if the machine says I'm a genius. <laughs> you know, that would be nice, wouldn't it? What was my accuracy like, buddy? Perfect. Great. Thank you. Um, indeed, you have to go up at trick one. Not a huge surprise. Either diamond is fine, of course. You have to play low. Um, you can cash a club, but you don't have to. And indeed, any card but the King of Diamonds is a disaster here. And then you should draw Trump still. It says it doesn't matter what you do in spades. Why is it okay to lead the four? <laughs> it's because West has the seven. You can put in the six, forcing the 10, and then run the jack. Very funny. No, you can afford the eight even, really? I guess that's true, yeah, you can always run the jack later. Any, this. This forces the eight, the ten just as well. Yeah. Okay. But importantly, you can't play the king. East can win the ten, but you can lead the jack, finessing against the queen, forcing the ace, and you win the next round with the nine or eight. Uh, we're in three spades here. Yeah. Auction seems fine. I mean, I don't love support doubles. I know they're very popular. Are you supposed to make a support double with this hand? I guess so. Surely you compete to three spades given the partner has made one. Sure. Uh, West overcalled two clubs. Fine. We have a diamond loser, probably two heart losers. We've already lost a club. So we can't afford to lose a spade. Why has West led ace and a club from a holding of like ace, jack, fifth or sixth? Why not lead something else? I'm guessing that he probably has one honor in both red suits and it's dangerous to lead that. Maybe he has six clubs and was hoping to give his partner a rough. Seems plausible. So he has like six clubs, honor X and honor third in the red suits. Would give him two spades. But 
I don't know why I would assume Honor X and Honor Third. Why not Honor Third and Honor Third and then one spade? I mean, yeah, like you just have to play, I think, vacant spaces to uh, tell you how to, to let vacant spaces guide you in the spade suit. West has, we know more about West's length. We know West is long in clubs and therefore is likely to be short in other suits, such as, for example, spades. So with nine cards between you in two suits, the guidance is, you know, they say eight ever, nine never, meaning with nine cards in the two suits, missing the queen, don't finesse. But that's very, like, just barely in favor of not finessing. If you know West has six clubs, or even five, like, if West has five clubs only, and East has four but never raised, then it's like a coin flip, whether you should finesse or drop. But if West has six, it's better than a coin flip to finesse East. There is some argument that, like, West... West overcalled. He has a good hand. He's more likely to have a queen. For example, the queen of spades. But we've already placed him with ace-jack of clubs and probably honors in both red suits. So I don't think he really has to have the queen of spades for this auction. Although, if we're giving East an honor in both red suits and the queen of clubs... And the Queen of Spades, surely he would have found a raise. So I guess my analysis doesn't quite make sense. So, okay, maybe I'm not psychoanalyzing West properly, and I don't know why he led a club. It's not because he has Honor X in both red suits. Or a single honor in both red suits. Maybe he just hoped his partner was roughing because he had six or seven clubs. Either way, I think it's still fine to take a, a spade finesse. And it is important to think about this even before you see the queen, because I might have come to the conclusion in some alternate universe that actually the right play was to finesse west, in which case I should cast the king and run the jack. Like, if there just weren't enough honors out there for west to have an overcall without also having the queen of spades then I, it would be wrong to play low to the ace and then decide. But okay. Fine. So West has one spade. What do we do about the red suits, then? In hearts... You could try low to the 10, succeeding if West has either both the king and queen or honor doubleton. You could also try leading the jack, succeeding if East has honor doubleton, but that's not very likely, uh, given that West has length and clubs. Um, the other thing you could try is there might be some... Squeeze, maybe? Or even an elimination? Although it doesn't look like it. Because I can't draw all the trump. And if I ever lose a trick to east, he can just exit trump. Yeah, so that won't work. There might be some squeeze, though. If we could lose a diamond now, then play ace in the diamond rough. And then, like, lose a heart? I don't know. I guess if West has King Queen X of hearts, we could manage to win three heart tricks and pitch our diamond loser. Seems unlikely. Probably would have preferred to lead hearts there, right? And that's the only way we could ever get rid of our diamond loser. So I think I think it makes sense just lose a diamond now. And maybe there'll be some squeeze. Oh, 
Oh, okay. There's no way this is a singleton. And even if it were, you couldn't rough again, so I don't care. This is great. So now we don't even need the honor to be doubleton. We just need West to have a hard honor, which I think he does. But I suppose I could play Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough. Well, I guess there's like a basically non-existent squeeze. That, that doesn't do anything, right? Right. Okay. So I'll just draw Trump and take the hard finesse. Really? It's unlucky. I mean, I could have tried the red suit squeeze against East. Hmm. And it would have worked. But I just sort of didn't think, I didn't think this would be the layout. I didn't think East would have all the hard honors. I mean, West switched to the four, which looks like, you know, it suggests he has an honor, but obviously you can't always trust the opponents. So, there is a squeeze here at this point, right? I don't want to look at Double Dummy yet. It's, it's a Trump squeeze, I think? Because you can't... You'd like to just play Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough to isolate the Diamond Guard with East. But then the Ace of Hearts is blocking the Hearts. Because you need the Heart Threat to be the Jack, not the Ten. So instead, at this point, you run... You cash three spades, pitching two Hearts from Dummy. Everyone comes down to four cards. Dummy has Ace of Hearts, Ace Third of Diamonds. I have a Spade, Jack X of Hearts, and a Diamond. And East has to come down to four cards. But he needs two Hearts and three Diamonds. If he pitches down to two Diamonds, you play Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough, Cross to a Heart, Cash a Diamond. If he pitches down to a stiff heart, you play Ace of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough, Cash the Jack of Hearts. Yeah, so that's that's the double dummy result here. You have to cash spades. I don't think that's that likely. But I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I think West... I'm okay with placing with West with a hard honor. Even even accounting for his switch, he could easily still have like had a doubleton hard honor and just felt it was hopeless. Or been unwilling to lead anything else, because like what is he supposed to do? It all kind of sucks, right? So I think I think it's fine to play it the way I did. It didn't work, but it was a reasonable try. Uh club diamond double. East raises diamonds, we bid two hearts. East competes to three diamonds, and we compete to three hearts. So probably, like, West has six diamonds and East has four? Because with five, you'd think you would bid more than two diamonds the first time. So probably only four. Okay. Boy, our suits are pretty anemic, huh? Where are all my damn tricks? I gotta set up clubs, or I'm... Where else are my tricks coming from?
Problem is, West probably has the Ace of Clubs. West certainly has the Ace of Diamonds. This kind of sucks. East has maybe the Queen of Diamonds, and the rest of his honors are in hearts and clubs. But the rest of his honors isn't much, so he could sort of have anything. Any particular honor I'm looking for, I don't really know where it is. but West is likely to have it. What, what am I going to do, man? <clears throat> Win the king and run the jack of clubs, maybe? That never succeeds in losing zero club tricks, but... Like, you, you have to... You can't just, like, draw Trump here. Can you? No. Even with two diamond stoppers in dummy, like, you, you need a source of tricks somewhere. And clubs is the only reasonable option. Whether you're cashing them or roughing them, you have to play clubs. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run the jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Whew. Got away with that, I guess. We're still not home by any means, but I'm glad the clubs went well. Oh, really? I uh, wonder who has the queen. West. Okay. So the opponents are out of spades and clubs. They all have only red cards remaining. My issue at this point is one of trump control. West surely has the ace of hearts. And if I, like, lead the king, they're going to win it and play the ace of diamonds, forcing me to rough in hand. And then I may have trouble establish, or, like, I may have trouble staying in hand to run the clubs. They've roughed once. We've drawn zero trumps. The opponents still have four trumps left. If they're 2-2, two, two, then... Like, sort of almost anything I do works. Well, the obvious thing of leading the top heart would work. But some other things, like running clubs, would probably be not so hot. <laughs> um, if someone has three clubs, three hearts... Like, if I play King of Hearts and it, they win and tap me, that's the thing I'm most worried about. It would be West. West has the ace. Maybe at that point I just start running clubs. I think that works out okay. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is fine. Because as soon as 
West roughs a club, I can over rough and get back to hand with uh, the last heart. Oop, gotcha. Phew. That one was... I got lucky a few times there, I think. Was it really? I'm sure West was defending double dummy at the end, and so he, I imagine he didn't make a mistake. But winning the Ace of Hearts and continuing Hearts was a real shocker to me. It says winning the Ace is fine. And continuing is fine. But it seems to me that continuing switching to a diamond would have put me to a, more of a predicament, right? I guess not. Because I know he has the Ace of Diamonds. So if he plays the Ace, I can just rough it. Cash the Ten of Hearts, and then play Clubs. Well, if you, does that work? Does it actually work to cash the Ten? Ace of Diamonds, small, rough. Ten of Hearts, Heart, Heart, Club. If he roughs now, yeah, so the problem is, if he wins this and plays Ace of Diamonds, I have to guess whether hearts are two, whether West has both remaining hearts or they're one one. If West has them both, I should cash clubs immediately. But if they are divided, I should continue with the Ten of Hearts. So West can pose a difficult like. Again, robots don't think this way. They don't understand other people having to guess things. But it would be better to win this and play the Ace of Diamonds. And put me to a guess. Exiting a heart is just sort of defeatist. You know it's never going to work. But Gib imagines that his opponents will always play double dummy. And so nothing would ever work. So it doesn't matter what he does. Anyway, I opened a club and rebid one. No, seems fine. Um, pretty sure we put the jack on this and then lead up to the eight at some later date, right? Well, actually... I guess it depends on whether I'm trying to get tricks out of the spade suit or make it radioactive so they can't lead it. If I play low and win with the king, then neither of them can ever lead a spade again. Well, actually, if east has queen third and west has 10-9x, that would be correct. But I don't know that. West could have queen 10-9, in which case I really ought to play the jack. And we obviously want to go after hearts next. Just like low to the queen, ace, low to the jack. Seems obvious enough. Okay, West did have queen 10 9. That's good news. Although it means I'm in the wrong hand to lead up to the queen of hearts. Uh, you could try to be really greedy, run the queen of hearts. If the king is over here and the ten is doubleton, that would take all the heart tricks. But if west has king fourth, that will be embarrassing. How many ways are there for west to have king ten fourth? I mean, three. East could have any one of the three spots. Whereas ways for the ten to be doubleton and East to have the king, there surely must be more of those. East has the king and the ten is doubleton. So either East has king ten doubleton, or East has king x, which there are three of. So, yeah. It is actually a little bit more likely that we prosper by leading the queen here, I guess. Actually, this gives us hmm, the option of running the nine. Yeah, because if he says king x, he's in a bit of a pickle, right? 
he puts he plays the king to give me a guess. Or if he has king 10, he has to play the king. If he has king 10x, it doesn't really matter what I do. But I guess my dummy entry situation is a little precarious, so I'd rather save the jack for later. So I guess by that reasoning, I should run the 9. The 10 is played? This is sort of too good to be true, but I guess it is true? All right, I'm getting all five hearts. Great. Now what? I have a spade loser, a club loser, and two diamond losers. I could lead a club to the seven? Maybe this gets them to cash the ace king of diamonds and then I get my jack? Probably won't. They'll just continue clubs. You could also try cashing the spades and see if West has queen 10 9 alone, like the suit is 3 3. That doesn't seem very likely. That's one diamond. And a spade, huh? Well, now I can just leave the last diamond myself. You guys are too late. And we're going to make f four? I mean, a lot of things had to go right, and they did. Indeed, spades were not 3-3. Three, three. Good to know. Should be a great result. 180 is, is lovely. We had to do some good guessing and get lucky. I don't, I mean, I think the field will probably play the hearts the same way. But it wasn't the only way to play hearts. All right, last board, last board. Boy, this takes me forever. I play so carefully in these. It's a long event, and I'm like actually trying to play well for a change. Um. Okay, we're in one no. West opened an east bit of spade. So east has five spades, west is short, or six. West has the opening hand. Dummy has 10 points. I have 13. It's 23? Okay, the opponents are both pretty minimum because they only have 17 between them. West chose 12 and East chose 6. So no extras to go around. Hmm. Is there any call to duck this first trick? Because you'll still have two spade stoppers anyway, right? But I think there isn't, because a club switch would be unwelcome. It, it would go to East's jack or 10, but then West has, like, Ace 10x, probably, sitting over my remaining King XX. Like, hearts and diamonds are the main suits we want to go after for tricks. And I have very few hand entries, actually. I think I have to spend the ones I have on diamond finesses. So, like, win the ace, queen of diamonds, then another diamond to the ten, then hearts? I guess... If the Queen of Diamonds loses, I'll be surprised. But I don't think I'll be devastated. It'll be bad, but not catastro catastrophic. Okay, now I've got my two heart tricks, diamond tricks. Don't touch that ace. 
It would let West cash two more diamonds. So instead we go back to hearts while we still have the Ace of Diamonds as an entry. And... I mean... West probably has the Ace of Clubs. I mean, I don't see how leading a spade could possibly help us. So let's play a club. He wins this, cashes two diamonds, and probably has a spade left, but maybe not. We could get lucky. I haven't been counting. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better to duck trick one? I'm not sure. Double dummy, it's wrong, I think. 47? Well, still early. Not many people have played these boards yet. We'll see. 10% for making three? Okay. Let's go over the results a bit here. What the hell happened? went wrong here? Oh, I got the diamonds wrong. Was that it? I don't know. I didn't think many people would be getting them right. A zero on board seven. Well, yeah, that's fair. I did mess that one up. Board four? Right. This was, I, I still think my play on this was fine. But I can understand why none of BBO made it. Board 13 was, I mean, I don't know, a little bit below average. Not that big a deal. I got the hearts wrong and didn't find the squeeze. Sure. Well, I declined the squeeze, tried a different thing instead. And then board 16, the one we just played, was bad? That's interesting. What was wrong with that? I made two mistakes, it says. Well, double dummy mistakes, obviously. So West made the wrong opening lead. It should have been a low diamond. Oh, and then my mistake was leading diamonds for them, I guess? It also says I should duck. To prevent East from running spades at some point, somehow. But I thought that if I ducked, a club lead, sorry, club lead would be a problem. But I guess West only has three of them, so it sort of is okay. As long as I duck the king? Well, even if I don't, I guess. The seven, eight are better than east six. Hmm. Okay, fine. But I didn't find that. I played the ace. I took a diamond finesse, but then my mistake was taking a second one, apparently. I should have just gotten busy with the hearts. I don't know. West usually only has four. I think it was right. To cash a sec get a second diamond trick set up while I could. But I don't know. I guess the thing is, it it creates a trick for me, but it also creates at least one trick for the opponents. Maybe two. Whereas if I just go work on hearts, what's West going to do when he gets on lead, right? A spade sets up a trick for me. A diamond gives me the finesse that I didn't take. A club sets up a trick for me. So, yeah, I don't need the diamond trick right away. I can just go on hearts. And if West exits passively with hearts, like, that would be the safest thing for him to do, I think. He, like, jumps on this and exits a heart. Um, oh, it says a low club. Yeah, I did mention low clubs earlier. But say he exits a heart. Then... 
I like can cash the hearts and get to work on spades or clubs myself. Probably clubs. Because that... Well, no, actually, I like spades, huh? Because I thought I used a club entry to take, to take the diamond finesse. But apparently not. Hmm. I guess you, you play the spade because... It's a trick, and you can still exit a club to west at some point, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm just getting a little too deep on this one. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to analyze anymore. So, not a great result, but we'll see. Obviously, you won't see, but I'll see when more results come in. Whew, long video. Made it in under two hours, though. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, three-day event. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.